Welcome to the Halo MCC PC Mod Showcase, a place where we chill, relax, and take a look at some Halo mods. So, why don't you strap yourselves in, grab yourself a tea, and let's begin. Our first mod is one that you're going to clearly recognize because it belongs within Halo Infinite. Now, it is sad, while well, it is, that it was delayed, but in all honesty, my opinion, it really needed it. It needed to be delayed in order for it to be the perfect game that we all truly want it to be. But in the meantime, we still have the Halo MCC to come out, we still have ODST, we still have Halo 4, and we have much, much more. This is the Halo Infinite Menu with Music mod. When you install this mod, this mod will turn your main menu into the demo artwork from Halo Infinite. Now, in all honesty, I love this artwork, it looks amazing, and in all honesty, it's kind of cool to see someone who's cleared up the artwork, cleared up the name tags, cleared up all like the prompts, and all that and it looks absolutely amazing not only have they reanimated it with new particles and all that they've also added the soundtrack that 343 has kindly provided us on youtube so until halo infinite is released in the year 2021 we're gonna have to chill wait and just relax on the mcc with some mods maybe some more mods and some more mods here so if you guys like the look of this mod then go check it out our next mod is a mod that, well, I didn't know exactly what it did until I played it. The main description that I'm given is, this is my first Halo 3 mod. It's a modded version of Floodgate with weird changes. That's it. That's all I'm given. So, if this is not a good mod to review, I, 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 I don't know. But you know what? I've played it. I've done it. And let me tell you, it is weird as hell, boy. So, with that, let me introduce to you the... Elios, Old Heroes, Otteros, Otteros, Jotaro, Undia. With all that weird crap aside, this is Alteros Floodgate. In this mod, you are not fighting alongside the Arbiter. You are fighting alongside the one, the only, Shipmaster Ratas Vadan. Now, is this cool? If you say it's not cool, then you know what? You're gonna go to the sin bin and you're gonna go think about what you just fought. Okay, not only are you fighting alongside with the shipmaster, you are also fighting alongside with more and more elites, which is, in all honesty, more elites is always better than no elites, okay? I'd rather fight with elites than fight against elites, okay? Change my mind. So you may be thinking, these changes aren't strange and not weird. Well, that's not all of the changes. Let's start with the first weird change. This is low gravity. You, for some ungodly reason, can jump to the moon. You, well, you basically jump to the top of the sandbox, but you know what I mean. Next on the list is a crap ton of grenades. Not 10 grenades, not 20 grenades, but 99 grenades. Why 99? Because 99 red balloons go I'm sorry, we had to do that for copyright. And our final thing on the list is the one, the only, Yeet Melee. Which, in all honesty, I kind of expected that. Actually, no, I didn't. I'm lying at the moment. I'm just running off my mouth, so bear with me. So this mod is very strange, but also has some really cool changes, and in all honesty, it's just a bunch of mad fun, and that's all I really expect from a first time mod. There are some things that could have been changed here and there, like especially the use of the low gravity, like in the final section of this mission, it did sort of break for me and I had to crouch the entire way, mainly because the low gravity feature just kept yeeting me up back out of the ship, and that, that did sort of break it a bit. But in all honesty, that was the only problem I saw. And to the model for who made this, a very nice work for your first mod. Do you ever wonder why we're here? It's one of life's greatest mysteries, isn't it? Well, let me tell you why you're here, boy. You're here because you want to look at some Okay, this joke is over. Yeah, that aside, we're going to take a look at the one, the only, Caboose campaign. Now, for those who don't have context, Caboose is one of the most lovable characters in Red vs. Blue. For those who don't know what Red vs. Blue is, it is a show that I recommend, but only if you're over 16, okay? 
If you're younger, then get the hell out of here, boy. That aside, Caboose is probably one of the favorite characters voiced by Joel Heyman. Now, this mod, what it basically does is it replaces Master Chief with Caboose. And in all honesty, this was pretty fun to see. And also fun to see that he can actually be imported into the cutscenes. Another thing that I really, really wish this mod author did, but they didn't, and that is to import voice lines of Caboose replacing the Chief in game. But unfortunately, I understand that it is difficult to replace the voice lines, and maybe that's something that this mod author could work on. But in all honesty, like that would just been so funny just to hear Caboose just like saying his Ren crap. So if you want to play as the lovable idiot from Red vs Blue, then go check out this mod. Are you ready to bear your fangs, Spartan? Are you ready to fight hard against the banished? And are you ready to die well? <coughs> I'm sorry, okay. This mod is Banished Firefight. This mod basically turns the brutes into their reddish counterpart that we have seen so far in Halo Infinite. And in all honesty, I love the reddish design that they've been given. It's so cool. And also in this mod, they have all been given gravity hammers to make your life a living hell. There is one thing I do want to say about this mod, and that is that there isn't enough Banished. They've worked on so much to make the brutes look so cool, but imagine if they worked on the elites, give them a reddish texture, as well as the grunts, give them a reddish texture, and just make this actually feel like we're fighting the banished. Like, in all honesty, this, this is a great start for a mod, and I can't wait to see where this mod goes. If you liked what you saw with this mod, then go check it out. Have you ever spent time in Forge messing around trying to make the Warthog or any other vehicle to be honest very strong? I think I need to do my announcer's voice to introduce this next mod. Coming to you live from Spacehead Enterprises, we have the new Armor Hog and Armor Goose. With stylish designs, tough exterior, Manly feel and gritty details, we introduce the Armor Hog. Weighing in at about two tons of raw steel with a light machine gun on top. With a stylish design purely inspired by the one, the only, Tesla Cybertruck. But this one craps on that design, so step aside, Tesla. This baby has been tested time and time again. Both the Armor Hog and the Armor Goose are both test driving and ready to roll. They can deal damage from gunfire, grenades, and even landmines. Tested and approved. Look at that satisfied customer. So if you're in the market for some new badass vehicles to show off to your friends, then come down to Space Set Enterprises and download this mod. Ow, oh, my freaking voice. Ugh. I don't think my voice has ever been this sore. So on that note, I'm going to end the video there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and share. And I will see each and every single one of you mates later.